Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up the Apple Watch 8 for the first time. So first, we're going to press on the side button here to turn on the Apple Watch. And on the iPhone, you can open up the Watch app. So while that is turning on, we're going to open up the Watch app. So watch, and in the watch app, I'm going to tap on allowed to send notifications. And then we're going to tap on start pairing. And I'm going to set this up for myself. So choose set up for myself or for a family member. Now say hold Apple watch to the camera. So we're going to do that. Hold the Apple watch to the camera. Now I'm we need to kind of back out a little bit here and then we need to have the Apple Watch within that rectangle okay hopefully it will detect and now it say your yeah, Apple Watch is paired and then we tap on set up Apple Watch and then tap on continued Now it is uh, starting to connect to each other. So it is now communicating at the phone, between the phone and the Apple Watch. So say so please continue set up on iPhone. So we do that. We will continue to set up on the iPhone. Next, we tap on the agree button. As I sign into the account, just wait for a few minutes. Okay, next in watch analytics, you can choose to share with Apple or don't share. So I'm going to choose don't share. And here we can create a passcode. You can add a long passcode or don't add passcode I'm going to tap on create passcode and we put in the passcode so I'm going to put in one two three four and then tap on use code now put in the same code again to confirm and next is say uh, do we want to set both text and size now you can choose continued or set up later in Apple Watch. So I'm going to tap on continue to see what you can do. In here, you can choose to set up use Siri or don't use Siri. I'm going to choose not to use Siri for now. And then tap on OK. And here, say so personalize fitness and health. In here, you can choose their birth. So I'm just going to put in some random date and then tap on done. And then you can choose sex, height, and weight. And then is it wheelchair or not wheelchair? And tap on continued. In here, you can choose enable route tracking or disable route tracking. Next, do you want to turn on get notifications about your health? Uh, I suggest we leave this on and tap on continued. Now you can also swipe up or down to get more options. So over here, you can see you can swipe up and down to get more options. So in here you can get notification about noise, cardio fitness, low heart rate and high heart rate. And I'm just gonna tap on continued. And next we've got safety, uh, emergency SOS. Now you can always swipe up and down for more information. Okay, on the next screen, you have the chance to set up Apple Pay so you can use your watch to make payment. If you want to set up now, you can tap on continued and that will allow you to set up all your debit card and credit card. I'm going to choose set up later in Apple Watch app. So we can do that later on, either on your watch or on your iPhone. And it so says, do you want to have always on displayed on your watch? Tap on continued and app view. So again, sorry, if you swipe up in here, I think, okay, so you have to set up in settings. And over here in app view, you can choose grid view or list view. So this is a grid view. This is a list view. And tap on continued. 
Next, uh, next is a welcome to Apple Watch, and then we tap on OK. And in here, you can choose a watch face that we have now completed. In here, you can um, select a watch face, and you can view the menus on your Apple Watch. This is the menu that you will see the same thing on your Apple Watch. You can tap on the Edit button, and in here, you can reorganize your watch face. So that is pretty much it. We have now successfully set up the Apple Watch. You are ready to go to use your Apple Watch 8. And here you can press on the crown button to go into your app screen. In app screen, you can um, do a number of things. You can go into settings. You can open up apps. You can open up all your workout exercise apps. We can um, open up phone application to make phone calls. Uh, you can send text messages, use the clock, use the timer, uh, monitor your heart rate, uh, oxygen, uh, noise, you can monitor noise, and so much, much more. You can also use map, calculator, and find your iPhone, find your missing iPhone. And yeah, so if you want to uh, make any changes to settings, you can go into settings. Oh, there is also a camera there. You can use your Apple Watch as a remote control for your iPhone camera. And if you go into settings, you can um, change any of the settings on your Apple Watch. You can also do the same on your Apple Watch over here. So on your watch app on your iPhone, you can open up the watch app and in here you can um, configure. Uh, the watch. You can also add in additional watch face via uh, your iPhone or you can do it directly on your Apple Watch. So for example, if I tap on face gallery tab at the bottom, I can swipe across and select a different face, a different design if you like. And so if I want to choose astronomy, I can open it up and I can tap on uh, the different font style that I want to use. So I've got rounded, modern, uh, classic and I can choose different view Earth, Moon, Solar System, Random and down here we've got complications that you can change the complication you can always change them later on just simply add, tap on the add button and that will allow you to add to the watch face and immediately you can see it changes on my Apple Watch and now that it has been added to my app, Apple Watch I can simply um, change the watch face like so and in here it shows different complications and that's it so once it has been added uh, to the Apple Watch then you can play around with it there is a lot of features and functions um, too much to go through with this uh, setup videos um, basically that is how you can set up your Apple Watch and it is uh, ready to be used and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for my videos.